If you mapped your whole life out on a timeline, you could pick out one decision or one moment that changed everything. But you could probably also identify a few missed opportunities. See, 10 seconds of courage is the antidote to that problem. It's absolutely saved my life. I love this idea so much. I wrote a book about it. And imagine your team with a mindset tool, a mindset tool that could give them powerful resilience to see them thrive during change and to act with courage. See, 10 seconds of courage isn't just a concept, it's an experience. It's the connection between our thought process, our emotions, and also our physical life, the life that we live in our bodies. We all know the feeling physically of having doubt creep in, of having that critical moment when you're about to speak up in a meeting and you hesitate, when you're gonna put yourself forward, if you see change coming and you feel resistant, or if you're about to decide on your ability to compete at a certain level of business. All of these things affect our performance and our outcomes. We all have barriers that affect our decision making and limit our potential at times. I'm passionate about using martial arts as a metaphor to tell a bloody good story about how to overcome those barriers. It's kind of like an uplifting combination of the Karate Kid and Rocky, but just when everyone's feeling all inspired and yay, there's a big twist where suddenly I got cancer. It's a very small part of my presentation, but it massively amplifies the message. What's the message? that now's the time to act with courage, that you have to learn to back yourself. Now's the time to give your best. See, life is happening in this moment. You get one opportunity and you get to decide the direction that you're gonna take. We all get knocked down at times, but getting back up starts with one brave decision followed by bold action. In martial arts, there's a link between our minds and what we physically do. So at the end of my presentation, I love being able to do a massive audience participation piece. I don't believe it's enough to simply present an idea with the audience. I like to show live on stage exactly how they can use their 10 seconds of courage. My absolute favorite moment of the whole presentation is when I get to break a wooden board live on stage with an audience member. See, this isn't about me. This is about your people, your team. And watching somebody face their fear, watching somebody show everyone what effort and risk looks like, hearing the crowd cheer when that person breaks the board is an absolutely incredible experience that brings everybody together in a courageous culture. I always choose somebody unassuming as well, somebody who then gets to go and be a rock star for the rest of the conference. I'm so grateful to be able to give this gift to one person in the audience, but also to everyone in the room because it's a real moment in their lives. They get to take that with them and it's an inspirational feeling that I can try harder. I can do this. Anyone can do it. If they can do it, I can do it. I love being in people's corner and I really enjoy being able to show others the power of selecting good people to be in their corner. It completely changes their perspective. When you have the ability to change your thinking, you can change your reality. Otherwise you risk staying stuck in your comfort zone or I use the metaphor of the dressing room before a match. See, most people hesitate because they're fearful of the outcome, they're fearful of the big event or risking. But the secret is using 10 seconds of courage just to take that first step out of the dressing room. Otherwise, you risk being stuck. You risk missing out on your opportunity to step out and face the challenge. Win, lose or draw, I believe there's honor in trying. So no matter what the arena, we all face similar barriers, but not everyone is given the tools to overcome them. So my mission, is to arm everyone with a new mental skill set and leave them feeling inspired to take on the world with courage.